Um, how do we? Uh, I guess he's fine. Yep, guess, I he's, guess fine. he's fine. Let's let him rock. Another game under 31 minutes. It was 36 for Joel Embiid, 32 for Tyrese Maxey. Another stellar game out of him, especially after that first quarter. We started off a little rough. Let's check in with Maxey, joined by Kate Scott and Al Abdenabi. Allah, Allah, look who it is. It's Mr. GQ. Oh, Tyrese Maxey. Ah, always clean. We got to start with that, Tyrese. How much did you have to pay the magazine to get featured in it? Uh, hey, yeah, make sure they don't steal it. Make sure they don't steal it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What did uh, What did you have to pay GQ to get in the magazine? We saw that released earlier today. Man, you, if I had to tell you, I can't tell you all that. Like, oh, my God. Let everybody be doing it. Seriously, seriously. Okay, but what about... Uh, the ninth time this season that you and Joel have put up 30 in the same game, and you guys are just looking more and more in sync. Take us back to the first quarter tonight when Joel was just going off. Uh, I mean, it just feels like that's every first quarter, you know, and it's, it's funny, you know, we talk about it, we get amazed by it, but, um, you know, I, we all try not to take it, we can't take it for granted. I mean, what he's doing right now is special, and uh, we just got to appreciate it. Speak to us about your mindset, because we've seen you now a number of times this year start off the game. Others get involved. You're not really hunting for your shots or anything. But as the game co goes on, you seem to kind of wake up offensively. Tell me about your mindset in that first quarter and then as the game goes on. Yeah, you know, I have the ultimate confidence in myself uh, as far as my scoring abilities. So, like, at the beginning of the game, I always try to get my teammates involved, you know, get Big Fella going, get Tobias going, get Kelly some shots, and, and Nico. You know, they do a great job, a hell of a job defensively, um, you know, hounding guys and just pressuring guys. You know, we need them to do that. So, you always got to feed them. You always got to feed them and make sure they're, they're great. And then, you know, when I come back in with the second unit in the second quarter, uh, I try to make plays for myself and others as well. Okay, now the question is, Joel came and got the ball from you because both Ricky Council the fourth and Sir Quay Beyond Smith had their first ever NBA points tonight. Who, who's going to get that basketball, Tyrese? Uh, Joel said we're going to get another one. Okay. So if Joel is going to get another one, then that's what he's going to do. You know, maybe, Hopefully he doesn't lose the one he took from me. May, maybe cut it in half or something? Give no, each guy no, half. no, no. Don't no. give it to Giannis. <laughs> oh, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs> Tyrese, great job. We'll see you on the plane Good and run, tomorrow baby. night in Charlotte. All right, y'all. Got jokes. You might remember that uh, Giannis <laughs> took exception when the Pacers tried to get the game ball and give it to Oscar Shibwe for his bucket, first bucket in the NBA career. So what they were talking about at the end, Joel Embiid, Tyrese secured the game ball, was going to give it to either Ricky Council or Terquavian Smith, who both had their first NBA buckets. They're guarding that like a little baby right there. Uh, they're going to look for another ball since obviously there's two. So there you go. They got, they got it to, there's Terquavian Smith who's doing, that looks like the radio interview there. And he's saying, we've got, we secured the bag. We've got you, my friend. Um, it's always fun, obviously, when you get your first NBA bucket. And it's a good sign when you've got those guys who, you know, are, have been on the G League roster, get to up, come up and play and get their first points. Absolutely, Amy. You know, you get those, the first points in a win. But a lot of times these guys don't get a chance. They might only play like that once right. in a season. A lot of those guys, them two-way guys, don't get an opportunity to play more than one minute in their career. So it's important, that, it's important that they recognize his buckets. I'm happy for him. And listen, I love that the young fellow's a quick trigger. Right? I love like, hey, that's I'm what he's known for. He was two for two. I'll take back it all day. Back to back threes. We saw Ricky Council also get a bucket. And this one, uh, they're both on the score sheet. So congratulations to them for registering their first points in the NBA. And then obviously handing the game ball from Joel Embiid himself. Well, here's the two men we were talking about. The, they, you know, aside from securing game balls. They also play <laughs> the game pretty well. As Tyrese Maxey likes to say, Joel Embiid is good at the basketball. 36 points, 32 for Tyrese. You can see those field goal shooting numbers. No surprise. Those are 50% and above. And then the free throw, that's also not a surprise. But I'm going to go down to uh, the steals and something. Four and three. That's one of the, the difference makers in a game like this. It was a little bit close there uh, at halftime and just after. Let's check out our play of the game brought to you by your Delaware Valley BMW Sitters. BMW, the ultimate driving machine. Machine, and it's going to come courtesy of the big fella. I mean, Anthony Edwards had done this last night, and we showed it on our pregame show, which is why Mark Jackson knows that much of people should watch our <laughs> pregame show. It was great. It was a highlight real thing. Joel doesn't dunk all that much. So this was especially impressive. It was, Amy, because you know why he said, oh, he can do it, or oh, I can. Mm -hmm. He made it look that way. So we saw that Anthony Edwards did it, and he also made it look pretty fab. But the thing is, maybe he didn't have to go back so far as, like, Anthony Edwards. Maybe he went even further back to his own play, November 25th, 2018, bounce it off of the backboard and slam it home up in Brooklyn. Oh, that is an embarrassing defensive effort right there. 
That's, you're going to want that one back. Oh, Absolutely. gosh. I feel almost wow. bad for him. You see the guys under the basket. Oh, goodness gracious. I mean, when he dunks, it is absolutely you know, rim rocker, ferocious, whatever you do. He's just such a, a, a physical force. When he dunks, you just the backboard has to be like, oh, buddy, hold yeah. on. He's a powerful guy. But you, you know what you said, Amy? You said he doesn't dunk at all that mm -hmm. much. He really doesn't. No. And, you know, I hope I don't get added after this. When you look at the Shaq, I think Joel is, is, is close, not the same, but close to strength-wise to Shaquille O'Neal. Mm -hmm. He's a lot more graceful on his feet, a lot more skilled in, in, in different aspects. But Shaq wants his points from powerful dunks. Right. And Joel is just able to be just as effective when he decides to post up without dunking. That's a very interesting stat to take into account. They're similar size, similar body builds when Shaq was in his prime. But it's just good to see that Joel is able to dominate from both sides of the floor. Yeah, it's interesting. The game has evolved in such a way that these big men are not just sitting there in that post. They're scoring in a variety of ways. And we know Embiid loves that fadeaway shot. He loves that little mid-range jumper. And, of course, uh, just a little razzle-dazzle Euro step also in that one. It's a, a lot of fun to watch, but it's a good throwback there. November 25th, 2018 to now, tonight, the last time he kind of rim-rocked right off of his own assist. You get an assist for that? You get your own assist? You should. You get a rebound and a, and a rebound, not assist. You just get a rebound. rebound yep. All right. We'll take one thing or over the other, but it was a fun one to watch. I mentioned um, Tyrese Maxey. He is the subject of our Yingling Presents Lager Up. When you're looking at his night, 10 for 20, 8 for 9 from free throws, 4 for 10 from three point, 5 assists, and he did have those three steals. That's a complete box score. And here's a guy who also didn't need to play in the fourth quarter after he tallied 32 points. You know, it's important to understand this guy scores at will, and he's so fast. Yeah. Listen, let me point it out, too. I've been going at it back and forth on social media with this guy when I said Max was fast in the AI, and he made some pretty good argument points. But now doing my research, Maxi is definitely fast in AI, period. With that being said, AI is a better player, of course. But with that being said, his ability to get me become a one-man fast break and makes and misses to put teams on their heels, it makes it uncomfortable. That's a different form of putting pressure right. on a defense when you're constantly coming downhill. And then, by the way, also can shoot the three, too. Hard to defend. I'll come to your defense. I think AI is was very fast. He seemed faster because the game wasn't played at the speed it is now. It is. So it was just a different game. The game was a little bit more, you know, take the air out of the ball type of thing and draw up sets. And so AI was fast, but he even looked faster probably because of that. Maxi, he just playing fast. He's yeah. fast, fast. That's what he is. All right, we're going to hear from Nick Nurse <laughs> coming up here on the other side. But that's right. I heard that. that we have, yeah, it's a, it's a good one. Who doesn't want to hear this song? Sixers get the big win in Orlando. They're all big at this point as we are at the midway point game 40 coming up tomorrow. We'll talk about that as well as checking